up Sailor Senshi, I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. And today I have a little box, just one, just one little box of things that I have purchased from my proxy in Japan as well as the Sailor Moon fan club, the Pretty Senshi, no, Pretty Guardians fan club. I'm tired, can you tell? But I wanted to unbox all of these together so I could show you all of the cool new items that I had gotten from Japan. All of these are brand new items. Uh, some of them ended up being really cool resells. That's my cat making noise. Some of them ended up being really cool resells that were on the Pretty Guardians website, so I definitely wanted to snag those for myself. Otherwise, everything else came from my proxy buyer in Tokyo named No Country for Tall Men. So I'm gonna go ahead and break into this and show you all the cool fun things Things that I have gotten recently. So one of the first things at the very top of this box is this awesome flyer from Sailor Moon Eternal. So this is from the 2020 roadshow of the new movie which is going to be premiering I believe it's on September 11th. I think so at least. That's the release date. Uh, but this is a really pretty flyer. I love the art on here. I've been using this art as me my lock screen on my phone for quite a while. So I saw that they had flyers in the Sailor Moon store and I was like, oh, I want one. So luckily my supplier ended up getting one of these flyers for me and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm adding this to my collection. I might end up framing this just because it's so pretty. I would love this in poster size. That would be amazing. Uh, the back of it's really Really pretty too. It does have Pegasus on it as well as Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon from the manga. So I'm assuming that means that we're going to see something very familiar to the Super S line or to the Super S series. And hopefully that's the case because that'll be really, really fun and it gets us a step closer to Sailor Stars and hopefully seeing Sailor Cosmos animated because if Sailor Moon Crystal continues, they better make Sailor Cosmos a part of that. If you don't know who that is, read the manga. You will enjoy it thoroughly. This is a die cut sticker. I think this was from the second anniversary or something like that, but it's it's a sticker. It features Sailor Moon. It's really pretty. It's a gorgeous sticker. I will probably never use it. My proxy also picked up some of these cutie pies. These are the prevention of STI condoms inside of Sailor Moon wrappers. So if you open this, it comes with a whole bunch of information about STIs and HIV and stuff like that. And then on the inside of this, if you unfold the heart, it comes with a little condom, which <laughs> it's the funniest thing ever. Uh, I think it's hilarious and really cute. And also wonderful, wonderful um, prevention awareness campaign that they have going on there. I love that they are including this and they are supporting um, preventing STIs in a very fashionable context. Now you can definitely tell I haven't opened my boxes in a while because these are the three Christmas 2019 acrylic stands that you could get from the Sailor Moon store. It, I should have opened this a long time ago, but I didn't. I was very busy, okay? I was buying a house. These feature the inner Sailor Senshi as well as Mamo-chan, and each of them came separately so you could buy whichever ones you wanted. Uh, Venus and Jupiter came together, and then we have Mercury and Mars, and we have Sailor Moon or Usagi and Mamo-chan. And all of them have really, really cute outfits on for Christmas, which is adorable, especially Mamo-chan's because he has a candy cane as his cane instead of his regular black cane, which is so cute. Each of them also come with a little Christmas wreath as the stand too, and I just thought it was freaking adorable, so I had to get these. Uh, they are the same art that you would see in Sailor Moon Drops as well, which is the mobile game that we used to have until they decided to cancel it and take it away from us, even though a lot of people spent a lot of money in that game. So thanks, whoever decided to cancel it. Hate you forever. Okay, I think the rest of these items, I got them all from the Pretty Guardians fan club. Pretty sure. So I'll go ahead and start with the Otedamas. So these are the new Otedamas that you could purchase. These are the four knights or the four generals of the Moon Kingdom. These are also Queen Beryl's generals if you have just seen the anime. Uh, so this includes Nephrite, Zoisite, Kunzite, and Jedite, all as little chibi Otedamas and they look adorable. They are in their general like evil guy uniforms, which is super cute as well. And they all have really adorable little faces on them. They're very characterized. Uh, I also love that the embroidered eyes are different colors too. So the eyes kind of match what you would expect each of them to have. Like Jedites is this pretty teal, Zoisite has the green ones. 
uh, Kunzite has his gray ones and then Nephrite has brown eyes and their hair looks super cute too. Uh, the interesting thing with this Otidama set is that it came in a package like this. So you couldn't buy them all separately in case you had a favorite. You had to buy all four of them together as opposed to previous ones where you could just buy each one separately. I actually think that was pretty smart of the Sailor Moon store to sell them like this uh, because that means that they wouldn't run out of just one of the characters as opposed to another one. And I feel like if you're gonna buy one of them, might as well just get all four because they were pretty inexpensive. I think these end up being like I don't know, maybe 2800 or something like that for all four of them together. Oh, maybe it's 3200 I'm not really sure. The price isn't on it. But these are fairly inexpensive. You can get them for about 700 or 750 yen each. Okay, these were an unexpected surprise on the Pretty Guardians fan club for the Japanese fan club version. Uh, these are remakes or reprints of the original CDs from a few of the different seasons. So unfortunately I wasn't able to buy all of them because some of them did sell out before I was able to get my hands on them. But I did end up getting the Sailor Stars music collection and that's all in Japanese. So I will have to tell you what songs are included down below because I'm not going to try to read that while I'm recording. And I also got Sailor Stars music collection volume two also in Japanese on the back. Can't wait to open these. It's gonna be so fun. Sailor Moon R, the collection. And then I got the Sailor Moon R symphonic poem, which I've had the MP3s of the poems for a long time. So I'm really excited to actually have the CD for this. And then I got Sailor Moon S, the CD. I think this is music from Sailor Moon S and Sailor Moon R. So I thought that was pretty cool. I was really excited about that because I have been trying to collect the original CDs in good formats and good packaging, and these are in brand new condition. So I was like, yeah, why not? I don't mind if they're a reprint, that's fine. They don't have to be vintage. I just wanted to get my hands on some of the original music. So these are absolutely gorgeous too. I really like the packaging and I'm really excited to burn these to my computer and then never open them again. All right, the last of these items are Pretty Guardian Fan Club exclusives. So the first item I have is this Christmas postcard. This features Mamoru and a cute little version of Usagi as well as Luna at the bottom. It says Merry Christmas 2019. Adorable, adorable postcard. That came with volume 13 of the Pretty Guardian's letter. And this Pretty Guardian's letter seems to have some information about the digital manga. It also has information in here about Sailor Moon Eternal, which is the new movie that will be coming out in September. There's the Super Live, which was amazing. I loved it. It was incredible and I loved it so much. Uh, there's information in here about, it looks like, oh, the Pretty Guardian's uh, like birthday party or something like that. Usagi Birthday Party 2019. That's what it is. Okay, so now we know. Looks like some information from Osabu in here. Oh, it's an interview with Osabu, it looks like. I'll have to translate all this later. And then some merchandise info. There's some fan photos and stuff like that. Very, very cute. And that's about it. This item is a reprint of a vintage item that I'm really excited to open and check out. Okay, so this I believe is a pocket watch. It's a gold pocket watch. Um, that came out originally in the 90s. However, they did a reprint and they decided to recreate it again for newer fans and for folks that didn't collect back in the 90s, like me. So this comes in a really, really nice case. On the front of it, it does say Pretty Guardian, so you know that it's a Pretty Guardian only fan club edition item. Uh, I did buy extras of this, so I will put those on my Instagram for sale Luckily, since I do have that fan club membership, I can get extras of some of these items. So I will price those depending on how much the shipping cost as well as taxes because I do pay taxes on these items. So this is the Pretty Guardians stopwatch. When I open this, it comes in a nice, nice packaging, brand new. And you'll notice there's no additional printing on the inside of the box, but the back of this has Naoko Takeuchi's name on it. And then the front has a print of Sailor Moon, and then it also says Nakayoshi down at the bottom, which is the magazine that Sailor Moon was originally printed in way, way back in the day. Uh, this does have a little clip, so you can clip it onto your pocket if you wanna use it as a pocket watch. And to open it, you just press down on the top and it flips open. 
The inside has a really pretty pearlescent pink background and then black printing for a manga photo of Usagi wearing bunny ears holding Luna. And it does say Nakayoshi and it says 1993 it looks like, as well as Naoko Takeuchi's name on it. So very simple, really pretty, awesome collector's piece. I love that they recreated one of these gorgeous pieces from the 90s because it's hard to find some of these items from back in the day nowadays. So if I can find a reprint, I'm more than happy just collecting that item instead. This last item is also a pretty Guardians fan club edition item, so it's limited edition. However, if you wanted a different kind of this item, you could get it on premium Bandai and you can still buy it in stationary stores too. So the pretty Guardians version of this, this is a 2020 schedule book or notebook or planner or whatever you want to call it. 2020 planner, I'll call it that. This is the Pretty Guardians version. However, they do have zippered versions for non-Pretty Guardians members as well, or, you know, fans of the show. So I decided to go ahead and get the one that was just for Pretty Guardians because it also came with this really cute little mini clear file, which features this gorgeous print of Sailor Moon, which we've seen countless, countless times. But if there's a clear file involved, I'm gonna get that clear file. The front of this features some really pretty crystals on Sailor Moon's moon stick. And the moon stick itself, the pink part, has a pretty pearlescent shine to it. We also have a really pretty filigree up at the top with some crystals and some pearls. And it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. The back of it is blank. Now, unlike last year's, this one did not come with any stickers on the inside of it. But it does have a print right here that says Pretty Guardians, the fan club logo. And if you open this, it has some really gorgeous prints on the inside of the planner from the manga. So the reason why I really like this planner in particular is because of all those beautiful prints from the manga. And each page, it appears, has a different print on it, which is really cool. This is a full 12 months that you get in here. It starts with, let's see, January of 2020, February, March, let's see how far it goes. December, January, oh, it goes all the way up through March of 2021. And then you also get weekly planner versions instead of just the monthly print. And that starts in January of 2020 and goes all the way through to January, the first, first week in January of 2021. And there's a whole bunch of extra paper at the back for taking notes or whatever you need to do. There's also address lines, birth dates, a food calorie chart, a target weight table, in case you're concerned about your weight or your BMI. There are time zone calculators. It looks like the Tokyo subway map, a uh, bus map, that's everything. I actually had to get my friend to get this for me. So thank you so much to my anonymous friend. You're amazing for getting this for me because it's so, so pretty. I love it. I can't wait to start using it uh, because this was only sold on the secret Bandai page that you can purchase some Pretty Guardian items from. Unfortunately, I can't sign up there because I think my address was already used. My Japanese address was already used for a previous sign up or something who knows but he was able to grab this for me and ship it out super excited about it it's gorgeous i love it that is everything so it was a really simple short unboxing of my new stuff from japan i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions leave me comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe and i would love to see you on my next video asking questions as well because i love seeing y'all around and i love interacting thank you so much to my sailor senshi for watching my name is sailor snubs and i'll see you next time Janet.